All right. So in this question, we want to find which of the following options represents the same relationship that is given in our table. Now let's try to recognize some kind of pattern between x and y. How do we go from x to y in this table? We have negative 10. And how do we get to 5? It seems like we are multiplying by a negative half. All right. And if we do this, we get 5. Let's check another one. If we have negative 6 and we multiply it by a negative half, we get 3, which is also right. Let's take this negative 2, and if we multiply by a negative half, we will also get 1. And this is the same, this is true for all of the values, and you are more than welcome to check this on your own. So now let's try to write some kind of formula that will be true for our table. So we know that y equals negative half times x. All right, so now, now that we have some kind of pattern written, let's go to answer A and check if the values here that are given will correspond to our formula. So now let's pick our first point, negative uh, 100 and negative 50, and plug it into our formula. So instead of y, we'll plug in negative 50 equals negative half times x, which is 100. All right, so we have negative 50 equals negative half of 100 will also give us negative 50. So this first point is correct. Let's move on and check another point. We have negative 10 instead of y equals negative half times x, which is 50. So now we have negative 10 equals negative half of 50, which will give us negative 25. And this is not equal to one another, therefore incorrect. So this does not match our formula. Let's move on to the graph of option C. And here we have, let's pick the point 0, 0. And if we plug this into our formula, let's clear some space here first. If we plug this into our formula, we get y equals 0 equals negative half times x, which is also 0. So now we get 0 equals 0, and this point seems to be correct. Now let's pick another point to make sure. We have negative 5 up around three and a half. So let's plug this in. We have y equals three and a half equals negative one, negative half times x, which is negative five. So now we have 3.5 equals half of negative half of negative five, which will give us 2.5. And these values do not equal one another. Therefore, C is also incorrect. All right, so now let's check answer B we have negative x equals 2y. Now let's try to take our formula here and manipulate it and see if it can also equal this formula that is given for b. So if we take our formula and we multiply everything by 2, we will get, let's clear again some space, we will get 2y equals negative x. And this is exactly what we have written here in answer b but it's just written on the opposite side. So we can still move it around and we can get negative x equals 2y, which is our answer b. And d says there is no pattern to the values presented in the table, and that is incorrect because we just found a pattern. All right, so b is our final answer.